Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Today I'm going to show you how to install macOS 10 Mountain Lion on a virtual machine on your Mac. And if you do not know what Mountain Lion is, it's Apple's latest operating system, which is currently in development. And if you're an Apple developer, there's a few available betas on their websites. Uh, but if you're not an Apple developer, you're still able to get it through the internet a bit here and there. It's kind of everywhere. Uh, you can download it uh, as long as you just do a quick Google search or something like that. But uh, of course, I'll leave links in the description. But do keep in mind, I'm not 100% sure if you if it's legal to download uh, the developer's preview of Mountain Line if you're not actually a developer. But I'm just going to do this video for educational purposes only. And just remember, do it at your own risk. I'm not responsible, of course, for any consequences, uh, but let's get right into it. There's a few things you'll need. We're going to use Parallels Desktop to create our virtual machine, and then we're going to install Mountain Line on there. There's a few different uh, software or applications you can use to create virtual machines, uh, but I'm going to use Parallels Desktop because it's the easiest, in my opinion, uh, to install Mountain Line on. I've tried VirtualBox, which is a free alternative. It does work, but uh, it's very, it's way, way, way longer because you have to install first off uh, Mac OS X Line and then you have to upgrade it. So you have to do two installations in a row and it's kind of tricky. It doesn't work uh, as well as on Parallels Desktop. So I highly recommend you download uh, this application to follow my uh, tutorial properly. Uh, of course, this is a paid software. I personally bought it because I think it's very useful to run Windows on. Uh, but you can go ahead and click on the download free trial. I think there's a 15 day trial. You just have to enter your name and your email address and you'll be able to download a, a full, fully working versions of Parallels desktop uh, for 15 days. I think it is might be 30. Not sure. Uh, but that's the first thing you'll need. The second thing you'll need is of course uh, Mountain Lion itself. So you're going to have to download uh, the image or it's called an image uh, that you mount. Of course, this tutorial is a little advanced. So maybe some of you uh, might not understand everything I'm saying, but I'm just going to try and keep it as simple as possible. Um, so I'm going to leave a link to this website as well. iModZone downloads. Uh, they put up tons of frameworks, operating systems and developer previews and stuff like that, that Apple releases. Um, so you can just download them from here. And uh, the one we're interested in, however, is uh, OS 10 10.8 Mountain Lion Developer Preview. And uh, this is number one. Of course, by the time you're watching this video, it might be different. Now, there's a few ways you can download this file. Keep in mind that this file is rather big. It's uh, 3.45 gigabytes. Uh, so there's a few different ways you can download it. The first one is by the, uh, the standard uh, download which is HTTP download it will bring you to this page and here you can click on free download and download it from there but as you can see it doesn't always function very well but because you know, right now for example it says this file reached the max download limit so you're not always uh, available it's not always available for download um, so what I recommend you do is not download it the normal way but download the torrent file which is the button right next to it it says download torrent and this will um, start downloading your torrent file and you can go ahead and drag this file into uh, a torrent application, whichever you use. It might be uTorrent Views Transmissions, uh, transmission which I personally use. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you do not know what torrents are. I highly recommend you look uh, up a tutorial on torrenting. Um, but the one I use is Transmission. You can just go ahead and drag and drop it in here, and it's going to start downloading. Just add it. And it took me about 15 minutes to download it, roughly a little less than 15 minutes. And uh, by the normal standard download, it took me about 21 hours. So that's just to show you how much better uh, the torrent download is than the normal download. So I highly recommend you do the torrent download. And uh, that's pretty much all you need. Um, it does take a while to get all the stuff before you can get started, uh, but it's definitely worth it. And uh, once you finish downloading, you should have this DMG file here called OS 10 10.8 Mountain Line, and uh, you're ready to go. So go ahead and start up Parallels Desktop, and you can go ahead and create a new virtual machine using this little plus here. Or you can just go in the menu bar and click on File New, and uh, this will also start creating a new virtual machine. You do not want to uh, do the standard option, which is install Windows. Of course, we do not want to install any Windows stuff. Uh, you want to go ahead and select the install OS 10 line using recovery partition. 
Uh, now, of course, I do know you, we want to install Mountain Lion and not Lion. Um, so, but you still want to go ahead and choose this to uh, continue on. And uh, it's definitely easier to install it this way. This will pretty much create a new virtual machine for you uh, and it's going to start a recovering procedure for Mac OS X Lion. And from there on, uh, you'll actually be able to cancel that whole recovering procedure and restart it and install Mac OS X uh, Mountain Lion. So that's pretty much how it's going to work out. It's going to go ahead and create a virtual machine here. Um, it's going to take a few minutes. And uh, there we go. It's actually already done. It's going to automatically start up for you the virtual machine you're gonna have a little Apple logo here and uh, then you can go ahead and choose your language now by default your virtual machine is set to I think uh, 65 gigabytes uh, but you can change that so right now it's gonna take up to maximum 65 gigabytes uh, but you know of course you can change that in the settings and stuff like that but once you brought to the screen to select uh, your preferred language I'm gonna go ahead and go with English and then you'll be brought to this window here now before we do anything, uh, what I recommend you do, which is optional, but you don't have, I, yeah, I definitely recommend that you do it, is uh, tweak your uh, virtual machine a bit. If you go, um, if you click on Control Alt on your keyboard, uh, it's going to free your mouse away from the virtual machine. As you can see, it's going to bring you back to your normal computer. And what you want to do is click on this little gear here, and you can go ahead and, and configure your virtual machine how much CPUs you want to get it, uh, give it, how much memory you want to give it. As you can see, you can't, uh, you cannot change these options right now. You can only do that once the virtual machine is off. Um, so I recommend you put it off and on again. I know it's kind of weird, but uh, just to uh, give it more CPUs and uh, memory. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give it two CPUs with uh, four gigs of uh, RAM and here you can also choose the video uh, memory which I'm also going to increase a bit because 32 megabytes is very very little so I'm going to go ahead and do a quarter of a gigabyte enable all this stuff that's always good and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and launch it up again so once again you'll be able to choose your language of course I'm going to go ahead and go with English once again and you'll be brought to the screen again uh, from here on you can restore reinstall the operating system and stuff like that but keep in mind this is just going to reinstall Mac OS X line or whichever operating system you're on right now but that's not what we want we want to install mountain line so what we're going to do is go ahead and click control alt again on your keyboard which is going to free your mouse once again and click on this little CD icon which is at the bottom of your virtual machine go ahead and click on that and click on connect image and from there on we want to choose the um, OS 10 10.8 mountain line DMG file or disk image and go ahead and click on open and it's gonna take a few seconds to load there we go it's finished loading so it takes about three four seconds to load you don't see anything that it's finished loading but it's just done uh, but right now we just want to go ahead and click on Mac OS 10 utilities here in the menu bar and click on quit Mac OS 10 utilities and right here it says are you sure you want to quit and you want to go ahead and choose a startup disk and here you want to go ahead and choose the uh, disk which we just mounted on uh, which is 10.8 as you can see so this is mountain line go ahead and click on that and click on restart and click on restart again now this is going to restart the whole recovery procedure but this time you're going to be able to install mountain line instead of line so that's definitely what we want so this is going to take again a few minutes so I went ahead and restarted my virtual machine here and uh, as you can see it brings you to the exact same screen except this time you'll be able to reinstall uh, OS 10 but except this time it's mountain line instead of line so go ahead and click on that and click on continue and as you can see OS 10 mountain line so go ahead and click on uh, continue and agree and yes and OK and yes and here you can go ahead and select the hard drive you can select on uh, you can install it on any hard drive but by default it creates a virtual hard drive which is called Macintosh HD, which is not your actual Macintosh HD. This is just a partition, a little part of it. And uh, don't worry, it doesn't affect the rest of your computer. Uh, so you can just go ahead and install it on this and you can delete it whenever you want. It's not going to install anything deep down. Uh, you're just going to install it on your virtual machine. So this is going to take a while. I'm just going to quickly show you while this is installing uh, where exactly it is installing it. Uh, so if you go in your finder, and uh, by default if you go to your documents it's going to create a parallels uh, folder here 
and right here you'll be able to see the, your virtual machine OS 10 line it should be called even though it's mountain line and that's pretty much where it's installing right now so if at any time you want to delete it simply go ahead and delete that file but be careful uh, not to delete it if you still want to use mountain line so so once it's finished here it's automatically going to start restarting your virtual machine so that's going to take another few uh, minutes here uh, but as you can see it went pretty fast it took me less than five minutes actually to install the whole uh, mountain lion thing uh, now that doesn't mean your installation is fully complete but uh, we're getting there so this is probably what takes the longest uh, and as you can see it says time remaining about 21 minutes it's often a little more actually uh, than than what it says in my opinion that's personal experience of course but uh, uh, usually it's gonna take about 25 minutes uh, to install the whole of uh, mountain line uh, so this is probably definitely what's going to take the longest I'll be back as soon as this is done once again so once it finished installing mountain line of course you'll be uh, brought to the standard Mac OS 10 setup assistant and you can go ahead and choose your country in which you're in I'm just gonna go for United Kingdom at this stage even though I'm not actually in the United Kingdom so from here on I'm just going to quickly accelerate the video since this is pretty straightforward just go ahead and follow the instructions it's going to ask you to create uh, an account on your computer go ahead and create that as well and uh, probably you also want to sign in into your Apple ID or Apple account uh, especially for Mountain Lion it's really good because you can synchronize it with uh, all your other devices uh, with the iCloud and stuff like that so I highly recommend you log into your Apple account uh, to be able to really use all the features that are available in mountain line so definitely go ahead and do that and uh, I'm just gonna skip through this really quickly until we're at the desktop of mountain lion so from here on you're able to uh, use Mac OS 10 mountain lion as you would normally would uh, of course reminders and notes aren't synced to your iCloud account except if you uh, logged into it but uh, you know pretty cool stuff they've added some cool features just reminders notes and stuff like that and also what I think is really cool is the notification center uh, which I think could be this button there we go you actually if you're using a trackpad it's really cool you can just swipe uh, to the left and then it opens this up and here are all your notifications not only from uh, your Apple products but also from third-party apps such as Skype you know somebody chatted to you or added you as a friend on Facebook on Twitter stuff like that um, that's pretty much uh, all the notifications that it's gonna give you and you got uh, messages which is pretty cool which integrates with iMessages on your iOS devices and stuff like that so uh, of course you have to log in to your Apple ID to uh, you know make this work um, I'm just gonna go ahead and quit that and quit this as well So that's pretty much uh, you can do whatever you want from here on uh, this is Mountain Lion, that's how to install it on the virtual machine. Hopefully you liked it, be sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll thank you a lot for watching once again, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.